Today, today my sports wandering journey took me to ideal Indian school in Abu Hamur in Doha, Qatar. It is here on Saturday, August 29th that Warriors Cricket Academy got inaugurated. Let's talk to Mr. Kumar about the academy. So tell us more about this uh, new cricket academy and your, your, about your cricketing background. Okay. Uh, my name is Kushal. Um, I'm the mentor for uh, Warrior Sports Center. Uh, my role over here uh, basically is to help the kids, younger generation, in terms of uh, any issues which they face. Uh, not the coaching aspect, but beyond coaching aspect. Uh, Warriors Cricket uh, Academy uh, is under the umbrella of Warrior Sports Center. We are three year old. Uh, previously, our academy was at the only Indian Ideal School. This is our new academy and today is the grand opening and uh, we are the biggest cricket academy in Qatar which is uh, inside Ideal Indian School Abu Hamburg. Uh, so besides cricket, uh, your focus is on any other sports? Uh, our primary focus is cricket. Uh, basically how Warriors started is we have a club called Warriors Cricket Club and that's the number one club since last two years in all format whether it is uh, T10, T20 or 50 overs. Uh, because of that, the academy formed. We wanted to give something to the community, something to the cricketing uh, world. So that's how we started Warriors Cricket uh, Academy. And tell me more about your association with the game. How it started from the childhood, uh, some history. His well, uh, personally, not uh, much cricket. We are from uh, Mangalore, uh, south of uh, India, where uh, yes, cricket is. Uh, very popular but uh, underarm cricket is popular so mostly it's a uh, tennis ball underarm it's only when we started high school during our college we started uh, overarm cricket and then when I reached to the college we had real ball cricket very expensive game you know very difficult to accommodate went to Abu Dhabi after my graduation then I started becoming more serious uh, my coach was uh, Rafiq Bhatt from Pakistan in Abu Dhabi they trained me. I also played for the Abu Dhabi uh, 11 uh, starts. I also, I was there six years over there. Then I moved to Kuwait, played two years, was in the probable of, uh, for Kuwait national team. Um, did not get a game. Uh, but then the criteria is, you know, you need to have three years and all those things. Then I moved to Doha. When I saw the cricket field over here compared to Kuwait and uh, Abu Dhabi, I was not so great and age was also the factor then I prefer softball over hardball uh, played hardball for almost uh, seven years one of my cousin uh, he said uh, why don't we form our own hardball team and that's how Warriors started uh, first year was the first six months was great because we were immediately when we started in the C division we were the runners-up. The next two years were difficult for us. We were runners-up in Ramadan. Uh, that was the most in terms of achievement. We also toured overseas, uh, four tours till date. Uh, we were two times champion, uh, one in South Africa, Cape Town Super Sixes, and last year in the Mediterranean Cricket League. 2018 was the first year when we were champion in Qatar. Uh, with C Division champion, also our Premier Division, they were champion in uh, T20, then the 15 over, then the T10. Uh, all in all, we were we hold eight champions trophy till date. So, which year you came to Qatar? Uh, in 2008. Okay. And uh, what are you, batsman or a bowler or all round? I stopped actually playing domestic cricket since no, years. before then. Yeah. Uh, I was basically a bowling all-rounder. I started as batting all-rounder, then turned into bowling all-rounder. Um, I retired um, 2018, but I play only international cricket uh, when my team goes on a tour. Uh, so the, what will be the primary focus of this academy in promoting talent? I saw it uh, starts from the year seven year old. So can you throw more light on it? Yeah, sure. Uh, so this year, 
unlike any academy or what we were previously last three years doing, we thought let's do something different which none other academy has ever done in probably definitely in Qatar nobody has done it we started something called cricket syllabus a curriculum for cricket where player know what is their pathway moving forward so our pathway starts from recreational cricket which is from year four up to adult senior cricket and we have a professional pathway which starts from under 13 and goes up to senior level then from there we want to take them to the next level which is high performance now high performance again it is from year 13 and above so that's basically we want them to play in national level cricket or be part of Qatar national team so how many coaches you have and what is the coaching setup okay we have uh, two part-time coaches and six full-time coaches all coaches are ICC certified, level 1 and level 2 coaches. Um, we have the best coaches, especially this year. Um, our, uh, from the national coach, to the national coach, to the players who are playing in Premier Division, we have everybody over there. Our head coach for Senior Division is Kamar Sadiq. Our head coach for Junior Division is uh, Saman. And uh, Abdul Rahman, who is a national cricket coach, he is uh, our part-time coach. So, what will be the timing for the training session uh, in evenings and how long? The, it depends on the age group, uh, how much they train. Right. Can you throw more? Sure. Uh, so, the session starts at 3 o'clock and goes up to 10 o'clock. Okay. Our session is for one and a half hours. So, in one and a half hour, we have warm up sessions, we have fielding drills, batting, bowling, and a cool down uh, drill. We, along with that, that's a group session. Along with that, you have one hour, one on one session. So, the price difference for group it is different, for one on one it is different. And due to COVID, we, were, we are restricting a group not more than five right now. Um, one on one is just a one coach for one person. Coming back to COVID, you, uh, how difficult it was for you on a personal level to be indoors and not to practice and not to miss the group uh, training session and for the children? Uh, it was very difficult. Of course, uh, my cricket has uh, dipped uh, over the year, but I was also part of, I'm still the captain of Qatar Cricket, uh, sorry, Qatar Foundation Cricket Team, where we play corporate level cricket tournaments. Yeah. So, just to keep yourself in that uh, level, uh, very difficult in terms of no physical activities. You know, you tend to, you know, sit most of the time, move around. Uh, you are basically, you know, running between the wicket is from your kitchen to the bedroom or from washroom to the bedroom. That's your running between. But whatever space we had, uh, we utilized that, and uh, we tried to keep ourselves fit uh, because. When you are, you know, 30 plus, and then you have to be at that level where, uh, you know, uh, you know your muscles are weak, you're getting weak, and then stretching and all those things, you can do it. Skipping is the main thing, which uh, keeps your uh, blood circulation. It was, it was a tough time. It's just not for me, for everybody. Else. And you, and everybody is happy to be back on the, at least in the nets. <laughs> And seeing the ball and <laughs> definitely very happy, very happy. We have the facilities, okay, which uh, came up uh, very quickly. Uh, you can see he has some happy bunch uh, faces, especially uh, the coaches as well as the players, because the players were asking when can we come, when can we, you know, because we were basically shut from March till uh, basically last week. We only started uh, last week. Uh, uh, coming back to the season, the season got disrupted. So, uh, what is the status of the season? Uh, okay. Qatar Cricket Association Qatar season. Cricket Association has not given us any kind of uh, go ahead in terms of when the season will start. I think they're going to wait uh, for the Qatar Olympic Committee to, uh, to inform them and then they inform us. But uh, we want to keep ourselves fit. We want to be in the game. You know, any given day they call us, we are there and ready and um, there's a lot of international crickets are happening right now uh, I, I think Qatar is not far behind uh, if you want to 
pick some of the players for your team uh, how do you pick the the players from qatar or and the other thing is if someone is interested to become a coach what is the criteria and, and do you facilitate uh, such people in getting the grades yeah yes let's talk about uh, players so the players we hire is for warriors cricket club um, we have a player who have been with us for the last uh, two to three years so so that is there but uh, at the same time we have people leaving people going but not in massive numbers one or two or three changes in a year uh, we pick domestic if we have it's easy you know these are transferable uh, we know them how they play and all when we get in we do get international players as well so we bring them on a visit we try them out one month two months three months and we see how they are gelling the team because that's that's more important okay and once that is done then we know okay we're gonna keep him for you know a full time or we're gonna find him some job and if he is on to cricket and if he has the certificate of cricket he will be part of uh, warriors academy uh, for other coaches who are looking for job or uh, we look at uh, icc level certificate or any international certificate when it comes to cricket whether it is level 1 level 2 uh, level 3 based on that uh, we hire the coaches so uh, Qatar Does cricket not, uh, conduct any courses for train the coaches program just like you have in football uh, they give uh, o level or level 0 coach training coach for whether it is umpiring scoring uh, cricket coaching they do that they do it for free of course okay but when it comes to level 1 level 2 we have to go to dubai uh, to the icc cricket academy